Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you a great drill that you can use to work with your catchers on throwdowns to the bases, as well as working with your outfielders, making the throws to get the runner out at home. This drill can actually progress into situational plays and an actual game. There's no equipment needed for this drill. So here's how you do the catcher throw down runner going home drill. So you're going to have your catchers at home, right? So they're going to take turns doing this drill. You'll have your pitcher, which is actually going to be your coach for now. And then it's going to have a bucket of balls right here. And then you'll set up your infield and outfield. Third baseman, first baseman, second base, shortstop, left field, right field, and center field. So just start getting the progression of the drill working. We're going to just do throwdowns. So the coach is going to just underhand really slowly, right, like this, uh, like soft toss, pitching to – uh, the catcher, and they're going to do throwdowns to each one of the bases. So we're going to throw it down to three, right? So we're going to be practicing at this point in time, left field coming to back that up. So if that ball, for some reason, does get missed at third base, right? So they're going to take that ball, and they're going to throw it home. So they come out there, they field that ball if it's overthrown, and they're going to throw that ball home to the actual catcher. Okay, so we're going to be practicing that. And same thing, so if they're going to be doing uh, the throwdowns here, so for space, uh, just repetition. So they're going to go here and then here, and then you can have your right fielder back it up. Um, and if for some reason it's a pass ball, uh, they're going to take it, and they're going to feel it, and then they're going to throw it home. So they're just going to be practicing like an actual play. If there's someone stealing or someone is coming off the bag and they're throwing it down, they're going to practice backing that play up, right? So this is going to come natural for them. And it's just a repetition. So you're going to keep doing it, you know, maybe, you know, 10 times going to third base, 10 times going to first base, and then you want to introduce second, uh, into second base, right? So they're going to be doing the exact same thing. So um, throw home and then a throw to two, and then you're going to actually have the shortstop covering that, right? Same thing. Um, and then center fielder to back up that ball, and then another time, too, if they're going to do it, you're going to have, and then over to two, and then second baseman's going to come over, and they're going to back up that ball and catch that ball there. Not back up, they're going to make that play to take out the runner, okay? So, again, just repetition to start things off so the catchers get warmed up, making the throwdowns to each one of the bases to three several times, right? So maybe that'd be ten times, and then the throw down to first, and then the throw down to second, okay? So after they've done that, then you can have your catchers switch, right? So let me clean this up. So same thing. You're just going to have your two catchers swap and then go through it so they get the reps in, right? So they're going to switch. That catcher, how many catchers you have, will go through this, give that other player a break, let their arm rest for a bit, that catcher, right? And same thing. So they're going to be doing the exact same things, throwdowns over and over, just light toss, right, soft toss, you know, a little bit quicker, and then throwing at each one of the bases, and then the actual outfielders backing up each one of those plays, okay? Um, so you can see here backing up each one of those plays. So. This is where, again, if you've done it a couple times, and you can introduce this earlier if you want. So um, you can have the same coach doing it, or you can have another coach behind the coach making these plays. So this is where, again, you want to just introduce, you know, if your catcher is consistently making that throw um, to third base and first base, but you know your left fielder and right fielder are consistently backing up that time play every time there's a throw. 
here's when you want to introduce this other play, right? So what's going to happen is, like I said, it's it's getting that runner out at home. So this is where the other coach comes in. So you can do the exact same thing. So this coach can do it, um, or you can have another coach just, you know, around here in this area right here. Let me just clean that up. So you can have the coach here, and then if you want, you can have another coach here. So all you're doing right here, okay, is same thing, but as soon as this comes here, so say, you know, you, you go, okay, I'm going to get you to do 10 throw downs to third base. Okay, so one, catcher throws it down to three. Right when that happens, this coach here, okay, will have access to the balls and will throw a ball like it's a pass ball or a ground ball hit. This left fielder is going to now come in. They're going to charge it, going to field that ball, and practice getting that runner out at home, right? So they're going to make that throw. So after each throw down, depending on what base it is, you're going to have that coach making that throw. So again, if this was first base, pitcher slash coach make that throw, throw down to first, they catch it. This coach now automatically will throw that ball up here, okay, like it's a hit or a pass ball. That right fielder is going to charge that ball, make that catch, and now they're going to throw that ball on the run, like a curl hop throw all the way home to get that runner out at home. Right? So same thing. You're going to keep doing that. Let me clean this up. Right? So if you're going to do two, same thing, right? So just kind of let the coaches know that they got a duck, you know, kneel down, make that throw, and they're going to throw it up here. And then you're going to have second baseman take it this time. And then the coach is going to, you know, roll it really hard to throw, throw the ball out there. Center fielder is going to play it. They're going to take it, and they're going to throw that ball home and do the same thing for short, right? So everyone gets play on that, act, gets some action on that play. So every time there's a throw to a base, whether it's one, whether it's three, whether it's two, have that other coach or the other coach can just turn around, make that throw to one of the outfielders, and have them practicing charging that ball, you know, getting that momentum, doing the curl hop, and making that throw all the way to home, right? So you're practicing getting that runner out at home. So, again, this gives your reps for your uh, catcher to throw down to the bases uh, I, as if they were stealing or if they were leading off and they want to go back or leading off too far. And at the same time, you're practicing where your actual field outfielders are backing up each one of these plays instantly. But then all of a sudden when they're backing it up, another coach is going to throw a ball. They're going to come charge it and then they're going to field it, and they're going to practice throwing it home. So you're also getting those practice, those reps in, where your outfielders are practicing getting the runner out home, and the catcher is learning whether it's going to just be right at it or a one-hop, and they're going to be practicing taking that ball right there and making that tag out home. So a lot of reps, okay? And so this is how you can make it get into situational plays and then eventually become a game, right, where it becomes competitive. So the situational play... Clean this up. Wants to work. Okay. Clean that up a bit. Clean this up. Okay, now we're going to have your right fielder here. Okay, so. Um, this is where you're going to introduce runners, okay? So let's put the runners as this color here. So, and it's up to them, right? Like, you can let them do it. You can see how they want to um, to do this. So you can have runners on the bases, right? So depending where you want to do, um, their goal, if you let them know, is just to make it home, right? So they can come off the bag, right? They can come off the bag, and then what happens is let them come off. And then if they want to steal, let them steal, um, you know, it's all up to them what they want to do. So they can come off the bag. Coaches can tell them what to do, and they can practice their throwdowns with actual live runners. You know, if that runner is actually going, what are you going to do with the runners on one and two? Again, it depends on you let them know. There's one out, right? Do we need to stop that runner from coming home? Do we concede that run? Do we want to make sure that we want to make sure that runner on third doesn't go? 
or do we, does it matter? And we want to get that out out too, right? So again, this, this said, say this runner decides to go, they take off, and again, they actually decide to make that throw, right? So, you know, you can do one of those trick plays as well where they throw it to short, short comes in, or they can take that throw there. Second Mason comes, fields the ball, and they try to get that out. And then this runner tries to come home, right? So, again, situational plays, a coach can maybe dictate and help the runners on base, you know, maybe what they want to execute. Maybe, for example, you want them to do a pickle, right? I mean, you want this runner to come out a bit, go slowly, do a fake, and then have this runner come home. At the same time, it's up to the defense and your catcher, right? Are they going to fake throw? Are they going to make sure they want to prevent the run, let them take two? Or are they going to do like a fake play and uh, throw that ball to short, and then, you know, they're coming home from third base, and then they get that runner out at home, right? So, again, it's up to the the base runners what they want to do, or you can have the coaches dictate what they want to sort of do out there and see how the actual um, catcher and fielders are going to execute it. And if you have set plays, it's a great way to practice it, right? So, again, that progression of them thinking is getting them in a game-like situation and how they're going to attack and approach each one of these different situations and how they're going to actually play it out, right? So a great way to have situational plays. And the last part of this drill is to really, again, like I said, is when you make a game out of it, it becomes competitive, and your players really love it because they're really pushing themselves because they enjoy it, right? So this is where, um, so let's clean this up a bit. And if you want, you can have an actual pitcher here so you don't have to have a coach, right? So uh, say you want to get an actual pitch in, pitcher in here. So you're going to divvy up your catchers if you have two or more so let's say we have two catchers you're gonna have two and then you're gonna have another catcher here okay uh, actually let's make it a different color uh so let's make it um this orange here okay you're gonna have two catchers and within the catchers oops they're gonna have teams okay so this team okay is gonna be the orange team and they will have three runners okay and then this team will have this catcher will have another colors look actually the same so okay they're gonna have three runners so when this catcher goes up first okay they're gonna go here first that means these runners are gonna be on base okay so the red team is gonna be on base they're gonna fill up the base and again you're gonna have your infielders and you actually have an actual pitcher uh, participating as well. Okay, so let's say it's the orange team. Um, and the purpose, okay, no outs. The purpose is to score as many of these runners that's on this red team as much as you can. Okay, so again, you can do a pickle. You can have them come off. So again, they're going to pitch it. And then it's up to these guys what they want to do, right? So you want to make sure, like, you know, the rules are maybe after five pitches, um, you know, they can't stay on the base. They have to do something. So this runner has to come off, maybe force a rundown. They're going to come off a bit. They can force a rundown. Or you can have this runner, whatever it is, you just need to make sure they score, right? So whatever they want to do. So if this runner actually does come home, right, and then they make that throw and they get that out, there's a base free empty. You're not going to have the bases full all the time. Uh, they're just going to start off with that. Um, and then when they get the out, Right. So after they get the outs, then what happens is these players can actually come back on. So all they're doing is trying to force play so they can come off. They can the, the catcher can actually make a throw down, um, you know, and if say there's no one on this base, maybe that runner tries to steal. They try to get him out at two. So, again, it's almost like a game like situation. But whatever rules you decide, they can only after a certain amount of pitches, they need to make something happen right after five pitches, you know, it's the runners have to actually do something. So it's up to them how they want to, that team to actually decide how they're going to generate runs, give up runners to get more runners, and so forth, okay? Um, and then after they get the three outs, then they switch sides. So now this team will go in. So this team will go up to uh, up to actual, let me see, the red team will now go catch, and then the runners will be the orange team, okay? So we're going to switch here. This red team now... These guys are going to go here, right? You're going to have your pitch. And then this orange team now is going to go on base, 
right? And so, again, it's a game-like situation, um, and there's no hitting. It's just straight pitching, and how are they going to think about their next play so that they make sure that whatever it is they're doing is helping their team score the runs, right? Um, no outs. How are they going to make sure they're going to be aggressive on the bases? At the same time, your catcher and infield are going to work together to make sure they get those outs. So this is a great drill to help really help work everyone on defense, on especially your catchers with your throwdowns, communications, the outfielders backing up, right, each one of the plays, and trick plays even. So, again, this is a really great drill to help work all the aspects of your defense and build that softball IQ skills. Enjoy this drill. Thanks for watching Easy Softball Drills for your practice plan. Make sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel.